Oh, hey, everyone. Isn't this the best time of the year? It's my favorite. The music, the hot chocolate, and we even just got some snow last night. So I'm really getting those Christmas feels right now. <laughs> Nothing could ruin this. <laughs> And I'm sorry I'm uh, late. Uh, I was at this all-night bachelorette party. Hey, you need any dildo jokes? <laughs> I'm the guy! <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did you have, a few drinks this morning? <laughs> huh? You know, I am in the field of local live home entertainment. Oh, my God! Let me tell you something, you low-life lion, four-flushing sack of shit. Is it just me, or does it seem like not a day goes by that our institutions don't prove themselves to be corrupt, incompetent hypocrites? Which they rub in our faces while calling us conspiracy theorists if we notice. So, we have this guy named George Santos, an incoming Republican senator that has allegedly turned out to be a compulsively lying fraud. Given these insane claims, it's not a stretch. It appears that this guy got all the way into office without a shred of scrutiny from the RNC. Just another reason why we need a new party and leadership. Of course, the media is now using this to mock and discredit the Republicans which they deserve. But as usual, this is a standard that only goes one way. Sam Stein, an MSNBC contributor and political reporter, wandered into a field of rakes and tweeted out, is there any precedent at all to this George Santos situation? Has Congress ever had anyone with so many remarkable biographical holes? Yes! Yes! This would be a question asked by a well-known Democrat Party state media mouthpiece who lives in a reality that only ever critically focuses on his political opponents, never himself or his party. Because there is one very painfully obvious response to this question. Joe Biden once claimed that he worked the coal mines with his family, was shot at in Iraq, and marched in the civil rights movement where he was arrested. Those were all lies. Biden also claimed he was raised in Puerto Rico, awarded his uncle a Purple Heart, turned down an offer from the Naval Academy, was once a truck driver, was once top of his class in college, and also had a son who was killed in Iraq. It's all lies, but they're entertaining lies. And in the end, isn't that the real truth? The answer is no. He was a football star. Wrong. He was arrested meeting Nelson Mandela. It never happened. The oil industry gave him cancer. Repent! He was a college professor. He spoke to the inventor of insulin. <laughs> He got a full scholarship. He graduated with three degrees. He attended a historical black Delaware college. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. And it doesn't stop there. There are so many other biographical lies told by Joe Biden. Like he traveled 17,000 miles through the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. His claim that he was a lifeguard in an all black pool where he fought a gang leader named Corn Pop. A fake story that he constantly tells about an Amtrak conductor that never existed. How in the hell is this guy president? He's one of the most prolific liars to ever infect this country. All right, all right. I think I'm gonna stop with this madness because it's officially Christmas time and I think I'm gonna go and enjoy it with my family Thanks to all of you for watching and the time that you spend here and just all the support that you give me I really appreciate it and none of this would be here without you Merry Christmas to you all and I'll see you on the next one